created by David Well with the Russo brothers acting as executive producers. The first two episodes of the Amazon Prime spy thriller Citadel is out. We will talk about the episodes, try to explain the ending, discuss all the hidden details and predict the next episode of the series. So if you don't want exposure to any important plot points and character details from the episodes, I'd suggest you watch the episodes first and then check out this video. So with a major spoiler warning, let's jump straight into the video. And while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on with the video. At the beginning of the first episode, we meet Mason and Nadia, two spies who converse in a variety of languages on a train as it travels through the Italian Alps until the former encounters a barrier with Spanish. Nadia and Mason once had a relationship, but for whatever reason, Nadia broke it off with him. They are agents with Citadel, an espionage agency that is currently pursuing Gregor Jovanovich for a suitcase containing uranium. In addition to that, Bernard Orlik, a communicator, is helping them remotely in the mission but it turns out that they were double-crossed and that Manticore, a rival group, is out to destroy Citadel and planted the whole setup which is on the verge of succeeding in its mission. Mason appears to be the only survivor despite having lost his memories when Jovanovic blows up the train. It seems Citadel is over once and for all. Mason is discovered in the hospital with a passport that lists Kyle as his name. However, nobody in the hospital has been able to locate his family or any sign of him as it is a fake ID but Mason is unaware of this because his memory has been lost. The age-old amnesia plot seems a bit unoriginal at this point and the series is definitely going to a similar arc as the Bond franchise. It's been 8 years and now he has a daughter named Hendrix and a wife named Abby. He is a family man who coaches Little League and appears joyful. But when he attends therapy, he displays a desire to learn more about who he is. To be more open with his daughter about himself, he now wants to learn more about his background and he has consistently seen Nadia's face in his dreams. But Kyle is devastated that no one has ever looked for him in all this time, so at the suggestion of his doctor, he signs up for an online DNA match website that links people to their families. This proves to be a turning point because the website informs Bernard Orlick, another surviving Citadel member, about Mason's whereabouts. In the meantime, UK Ambassador Dahlia Archer wants Citadel to vanish from the face of the earth. She informs the secretary that the CIA has found a case containing the final known information on Citadel, including the location of their sites, the names of their agents and the codes to nuclear weapons all over the world. The secretary obliges her since he owes her some favors. And then she contacts the two brothers Davig and Anders Silje who work the dirty works for her. She informs them about the situation and requests that they retrieve the keys. Dahlia Archer is known to the media as the queen of alternative facts. She even asserted that Britain has always been a force for peace and then revealed her connection to Manticore. In the meantime, Mason's calm and peaceful family life is interrupted when Bernard kidnaps them and takes them to a hidden place. Mason is told everything about his past, including how he vanished, and he is promised that he will learn more about himself once he starts working for Bernard. At this point, we also learn the true nature of Manticore and Citadel. Nearly a century ago, Citadel was founded as a spy agency. It differs from the others as it has no allegiance to any nation or individual and always prioritizes the welfare of the entire planet. On the other hand, Manticore is a company founded by eight of the richest families and oligarchs in the world to advance their own interests. One of their own renegade spies sold out the secrets of Citadel to Manticore. Since then, Manticore has manipulated the course of history to suit its own purposes. They are currently searching for the nuclear codes that will come into their possession once the Silja brothers arrive in New York. Mason must intervene on behalf of Bernard to prevent that from happening. Bernard promises him that he would assist him in regaining his memory and tell him more about Nadia as soon as he locates the keys. 
Then we see a flashback from 8 years ago at the end of the first episode of Citadel and Nadia can be seen emerging from the sea alive after the train has been blown to pieces. Nadia emerges from the river bank leaving a trail of burning debris behind. She succeeds in flagging down a passing vehicle but the stranger kidnaps her instead. She then battles her way out of captivity, killing the man who held her. Although she is prevented from actually escaping by a citadel failsafe, all of Nadia's memories are wiped after a chip in her brain is turned on. Just before the treatment is finished, Nadia inscribes a message on her arm. As her memories are erased, the agent collapses. When Nadia opens her eyes, she discovers a dead body, her passport and that important message written on her arm which says go to Valencia Asha which does not make any sense and was not cleared in the episode. Mason and his family are currently hiding away in the Wyoming mountainside and Mason's scars, amnesia and lack of family or friends are all starting to make sense. But his wife Abby is still skeptical. Mason and Bernard then travel to Mantico's secret lab in New York City. While the Citadel agents are setting up their line of attack, the Silja brothers are occupied with unlocking the case's lock. Mason now has full access to the building thanks to Bernard's hacking of Mantico's server. As the Manticore agents attack the intruder, the amnesiac agent breaks into the structure and reactivates his dormant spy abilities. Mason manages to grab the case and go, but the brothers identify him before he can leave. The brothers tell Dali about this incident and she issues a command to the brothers to deliver Mason and the case booth. Bernard helps Mason to unlock the case and they find vials inside containing the memories of every agent of Citadel. Mason inquires as to whether they will be able to going back to Wyoming but his face has been seen by Mantico thus they can't stop until the battle is over. Mason tries to process all of this overwhelming information as Bernard gets shot and his car crashes down. He returns fire before robbing a passing vehicle and escaping with the case and vials inside. Unfortunately his vial was broken in the commotion, he won't ever be able to recover those memories. However, he is able to identify the whereabouts of Nadia using the case. He boards a flight and in Valencia, Mason finds Nadia at her current job in a restaurant. He tries to talk with her about the explosion and his memory loss but she is unwilling to believe him. Mason even tries to throw a knife at her as Bernard did to him but instead of catching it, she simply avoids it. The agent is compelled to reveal the case and his former identity to her. He then gives her the vial containing her past memories and suddenly one of Silja brothers attacks before Nadia has a chance to process this information. The two Citadel agents engage this opponent but they fall short against their cunning adversary. After using the vial to access her past memories, Nadia can use her forgotten skills to destroy the foe. She claims to Mason that she can now recall every detail of her past. After they escape, the Silja brother calls Dahlia towards the end of the episode to update her on the most recent events. But Dahlia has her own agent from Citadel so she doesn't seem all that concerned. Bernard who survived the attack is her captive, Dahlia promises to use any means necessary to uncover all of his citadel secrets. In the next episode we will probably get to see Nadia and Mason's complete or at least partial backstory and we will probably get to know more about citadel and its operatives as teased at the end of the second episode. But nothing as of now is confirmed so we will have to wait for its release. The third episode of citadel will be released on May 5, 2023. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video, do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching the first two episodes of Citadel on Amazon Prime, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the time being we are signing off, see you old sport, what we attempt to do is not without danger and I'll be back.